kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my module on trim video using FFmpeg library in Android Studio. All right, guys. So, first of all, what we are going to do in this video is first of all we need we will need to add the dependencies for this. Uh, for adding all the dependency libraries which we are going to use in this project so let's get so let's get started so first of all the module is i mean the library which we want to integrate into our project and that is seek bar okay so i think there is uh, now not the link for that so i will just add it randomly manually sorry so here we will uh, i will add compile and inside that uh, we can have um, okay and here we can write org dot view dot android dot range seek bar and seek bar library 0 0.3.0 all right and let's sync the project and let's see if it works or not yes it is successfully integrated to our project the next library which we want which i will add is let me show you okay so here it is com dot dot circle progress bar yes this is the circle progress bar library which we are going to use for our project all right so for in order to integrate it we will just copy this and let's just paste it inside our android studio I think it is not copied yes now and okay so I will click on sync now again yes it is also integrated now the next thing is we want to uh, add the live data so for the live data so and here we can uh, integrate it like okay so i will just add it randomly manually sorry and here we can write compile android dot arc dot life cycle extensions and we will now again sync it okay so it is uh, saying an error and from there we will we, we will need to add the maven depository for that and here maven dot google dot com
and now it is successfully integrated the another and last thing which we want to uh, okay so there will also we will be requiring the sdp so here we can have the sdp and uh, let me write it okay so it is for the new size unit so here we will add it 1.0.6 we will just copy that and paste it here instead of com implementation i will write compile because i have this android studio 2.3 let change it to 1.0.5 and another last thing which we want to add is the ffmpeg library so for that let's just add it com dot writing minds ff mpeg android 0.3.2 all right and now we will click on sync again okay so now all the dependencies are added in our project so okay so let's now move towards our trim activity and first of all let's design the layout of this trim activity okay so basically in this activity we will have a video view and then we will have the range seek bar okay these two will be the important things so for that let's first of all change from this constant layout to relative layout and then we can have uh, okay so here we will have the video view first of all and it will be match parent match parent then it will have uh, an id video view and after that we will have an image view and it will be wrap content wrap content and we can make it a uh, center in parent to true and for the resource we can have a new asset image asset and here we can have let's change it to action bar and, and from there we can have play i see play then another thing which we another variable we will have is the i see pause all right so and here we can have source i see pause all right so uh, whenever this activity will be open the video view will start previewing the video and start playing the video so another thing which we will have is the range seek bar so for the range seek bar we can have okay so for that we will be requiring a relative layout and inside this relative layout we can have match parent and the height will be dimension and it will be equal to 90 dp and let's set it to align parent bottom to true and inside this relative layout and let's change the background of it to color primary or we can say color primary dark 
or color accent all right and after that inside this relative layout text view and it will be wrap content wrap content and then set the id to tv left and let's have the text size to Then SP and then set the margin left to also ten STP and let's set the text to zero zero. and it will be below seek bar and this seek bar we will add it at the bottom and now another vi uh, text view we will have is wrap content then we will have a line parent and will be true then we will have the margin right to 17 dp and it will be below c bar and we can set the gravity to end and then we can also set the text size to 17 sp then we can also set the text to zero and let's also set a line pattern right to true and let's set the id to tvv right all right and after that we will have now the range seek bar and it will be match parent and match parent and its margin right will be 17 dp and then we will have rsp indicator text color and it will be white then we will have rsp progress color color progress 7 and let's set the color of let me copy that and paste it here and it will be this color and after that mm, we can have rsb progress default color okay so the rb rsb progress color will be 
color primary dark and for this uh, rsp default color and the default color will be color primary dark and then we set the margin left to 17 dp then we say rsp tick mark text color and it will be equal to color slash color primary dark and then we say center in parent to true and we set the id to seek bar all right so that will be our layout for the trim activity and i think that is enough for uh, today so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye okay guys